beautiful people, it's your girl Shani here, your little big sis, and we made it through another week and it is another Friday. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. So I hope that you all had an amazing week and you know what time it is. It is always Keep the Faith Fridays where I help you get through your work week to your Friday and going into your weekend with a little gem, a little motivation, a little something, something to zhuzh it up a little bit. So this week is no different, but this week is a lot of fun because I have another guest, yes. As a lead, I will, you know, bring somebody on that can give you a little bit of a gem and wisdom, even more so than I can, especially if they are an expert in it. And I have one of my friends, her name is Alice Sanders. She is a relationship coach. She does premarital counseling. And we are gonna talk a little bit about love and marriage today. Now, if you are single, no, 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 don't tune off, okay? This is still for you because it gives you something to kind of be eavesdropping into a little bit of what married couples may or may not go through and also it can just give you something to look forward to as well okay if being married is something that you want to do and for those of us that are married I think that she's going to be sharing some very good gems that we can use to strengthen our relationship and make our love even more so official so you all keep it locked right here as we are going to talk to my dear friends I have such a dope circle of friend people I really do I'm really really blessed in that way but we are about to hear from her right now Hey guys, so I am back and I told you that I have a very dope person with me, Ooh. one of my very dear friends, my friend Alice Sanders, who is a relationship coach. She is a author hmm. Hmm. and she also does premarital counseling and also officiates weddings with her husband, which yeah. is so, so, so cool. And she loves love and loves marriage as much as I do. And I figured, you know, holidays is a lovey season. Why not have yes. my girl come on here and yes. share a little bit of love with us, but also just kind of really give us some good advice, some good mm -hmm. takes, and then you know me, we're going to play a little bit of game. She doesn't know the questions, but I do, so it should be fun, because Alice is hilarious, mm -hmm. and I'm sure her answers are going to be amazing. <laughs> so, Alice, when it comes to being a relationship coach, and even just being into premarital counseling, and just really caring about marriages, because you're super passionate about it, yeah. what kind of made this a major interest of yours that you decided, okay, I want to dig deeper, I want to help other people? people I want to help other couples yeah. really you know do this thing it's so weird because it's it's been a journey and I like to say we all have our process we mm -hmm. all have our journey that we have to go through yeah and so when I got married I would say that's when it officially started uh, that would all be right? a good start yeah so <laughs> I got married I was maybe 25 which is so crazy isn't that something oh yeah so I was 25 that was 10 years ago yes Yay, so I'm 35 10 year, 10 year anniversary right <laughs> milestone yes but once we got married we really we're just having fun yeah we wanted to live out the movies right I mean, we were like we're getting friends we're going to a cabin yeah so we booked like cabin trips with friends and mm -hmm. then we would start doing relationship activities that is so cool. like it was sort of like a surprise now that you're in the cabin right. we have activities <laughs> we're gonna get your whole marriage life together right specifically for your marriage <laughs> and we were married maybe six months that is so cool yeah. so it started then and as we grew and evolved, we would be a part of marriage ministries yeah. and we'd plan little events. And then maybe a few years ago, I really felt God was leading us to make it more official mm -hmm. yeah. and more serious. Ladarius had some friends who were getting married and they were asking him questions and he was like, yo, my wife and I could talk to you about it. Aww. And then that's when we were like, that's what you do, fellas. You better, big up, you better big up your wives, okay? Yeah. Let her, her talents be known. That's so dope. So then we made it a thing. What do you find is either what you love speaking to couples the most mm -hmm. about or mm -hmm. that you feel they ask for the most of yeah. advice about? Something that I love talking about because I'm a communications professor at yes. the local college I love communication. Yeah. So I love applying communication theories to relationships. Because it's key. It's in critical. A, in any relationship, but in marriage. Woo, Jesus. Yeah. Try to be married without it. Hmm. <laughs> any relationship, what would that be? That's right. not even, right. yeah, that'd be really weird. <laughs> but it's like, as I was teaching different theories to my classes, I would think to myself, man, this is really good stuff hmm. for a relationship. And so I like to talk about communication and intimacy. Yeah. So most of us think of intimacy as simply sex. Yeah. But intimacy is a lot more. Intimacy is. is 
my familiarity with a person. Mm. So I can have an intimate relationship with a friend. Yeah, I can have absolutely. an intimate relationship with my siblings, with my children. Mm -hmm. How familiar am I with them? Yeah. And a part of becoming familiar is communication. Yeah, I've heard intimacy talked about as into me you see. Yeah. So and that's like always that. that's what I've always tried to think of. But you're right. I think yeah. when a lot of people do hear the word intimacy, sex or anything that is affection Sensual. oriented or, yeah, exactly mm -hmm. is what people think of the most. But I love that that is something that you have decided to really focus on. Yeah. Not just communication, but intimacy aspects of communication. Sure. And what I like is I like to say that stay connected is simply a creative way mm -hmm. to help the two of you deepen your intimacy. Yes. And so it's just interesting because it requires vulnerability. Yes. And, and who trust. Who likes yeah. to be vulnerable right. in order to Especially be guys. Right. We we can probably get ourselves there. Oh, and, no. and I mean there are some women though that yeah. that they have to be, but I think it's even harder for guys probably. to be vulnerable. Probably. Because I think a lot of times people see vulnerability as weakness. Yes. And men are always trying to be, you know, the yeah. strong. I got it together. Um, but I feel like I I personally, you have to yeah. let me know what you think. Yeah. I feel like vulnerability actually takes more strength yes. because you're kind of doing like a free fall into allowing yeah. someone to see like the either scarier or not so great or, you know, the doubting, yeah. untrusting parts of yourself. You have to be courageous. You have to be yeah. brave in order to show your true self. Yeah. It's yeah. easy to show people what you think they want to see. Yeah. That's easy. Yep. But once you're really starting to open up and show them this is what I've been scared of. This is what I'm, you know, freaking out about. That's a big deal. Yeah. And like you said, it requires trust, yeah. which is what makes the relationship stronger. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that's a, you know, that's a beautiful thing. I think there's still levels of vulnerability, I'm sure, oh, yes. in the stages of marriage that you get to. Um, but I think that that is a really, really cool factor to really I love what up. you said, because there are levels. Like, intimacy isn't something that you just reach. Yeah. And you're like, oh, we're intimate. Right. I know you. <laughs> right. Like, because if it was that way, that would mean that as humans, we're very simple. Yeah. But we're not. No. We're complex. Yeah. So with that being said, we, as people, are always changing. Yeah. So intimacy can always happen and it can always go deeper. Well, as we're talking about creating intimate environments, I think the next thing that we're mm -hmm. going to talk about is how to stay connected. So stay here Ooh. and we're going to come back and she's going to tell us a couple things that we can yes. do, which this is her sign, her stay connected sign, mm -hmm. <laughs> all about right, stay how we can stay connected. So I told you that we are going to talk a little bit more about how we can get this intimacy, this communication going, yeah. and it's all about staying connected, which is kind mm -hmm. of a catchphrase of yours yeah. that you use with your official love journal, which I'm going to tell her you at the end. She'll let you know how you can connect so you can get all these good tidbits. She's always sharing them on her Instagram. Yeah. But what are maybe three things, especially, okay. you know, it's the holidays, it's people the holidays. getting a little bit more cozy, maybe mm -hmm. having some time off, vacation yeah. time, whatever. Sure. What are three ways or three top things that you love or yeah. that you think are great to keep people staying connected? What I like to say is take a break. Mm. Okay. We have two kids. Even if you don't have kids, take a break. Yeah. Life is hectic. Yes. Life is busy. So I feel often as a couple, we think a break has to be monumental right you know a break is oh we're going to dubai correct you know like <laughs> not a bad break okay <laughs> not, not a bad one. <laughs> i want to go to dubai please please yes but also cannot do that every day and also yeah you can you cannot so with that being said let's bring it down just a few notches just a couple you know and cool. maybe it's simply a one night stay at a hotel like, okay i mean and that's doable no and matter I where will you take are that yeah i i will take a night stay at a yeah, hotel yeah, anytime. Yeah, all right? That's good. So just you and your spouse. Yeah. And one night is feasible, especially if you have kids, if mm -hmm. you have a job, you can do that. Mm -hmm. And you go away and you do whatever you like. Yeah. Okay? That's Sometimes good. my husband and I were so busy. When we do our one night hotel stay, once we're in, we're in. <laughs> Okay, the TV is on, right. we're eating, yeah. it is really probably not good because it's basically eating and watching TV and cuddling, you know? Right, right, right. But you Look, need that time. Right. And sometimes it's just, even in doing those things, it's just a matter of knowing that it's just you too. It's and just, yeah. like, she's, she's, she's had thinking. a flashback. I did. She had a flashback. I was like, mm -hmm. right here in front of me. <laughs> Bring it back, okay? <laughs> I'll bring it back. But those moments are amazing. Yes. And the 
love journal, I mentioned this, but I mean, it's simple, but I think it's really impactful. Mm -hmm. And that is think about your five senses. Mm. I'm not even going to try to go through all five right Y'all now know because you, you always know they are. You're using some of them two. right now. Okay. Just remember which ones you're using at the moment. <laughs> yes. So with the five senses, I say implement maybe two or three of them. Mm. And this can be in your home. This can be for a in-home date night right, or something like right. that. But once you implement some of these senses, it transforms things. Mm. So for instance, let's say it's dinner. Mm -hmm. Okay. The kids have gone to bed. It's just me and the hubby. We're about to have dinner. Mm -hmm. We have dinner every night. That's nothing special. But guess what? If I add some music mm -hmm. in the background. Okay. You got okay. the hearing going on. Okay. All right. You know? So okay. we're listening. Uh -huh. We got some uh -huh. music. And then maybe I turn on my diffuser and have oh, some come sense. Come on, sense. Y'all you know? mm -hmm. yeah, better okay. set mood sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then maybe I'm wearing something really cute <laughs> and soft and you smooth. You did say the kids were asleep. I did say the kids were asleep. <laughs> okay, so that's for touch. All of a sudden, I've transformed regular dinner to yeah. something a little bit more special. Yeah. So, so it helps. she did mention, which I love, she mentioned the fact that you can get all of this in her love journal. Ooh. So my friend is an author. Ooh. She's writing her first book, or wrote her first book, so it's already done. <sighs> Said and done. Yeah. What can people look forward to, and what is the official? Love sure, journal. let's talk there. about it. We'll yeah. start with the journal. It's called the Love Journal, okay? And basically, this is a guided journal. Mm. So, those have become really popular. A guided journal is simply a journal that has prompts. Yeah. So, it'll have questions and things that will promote thought. Mm -hmm. And the idea is this journal is something that you fill out with your spouse. Oh, nice. So, you fill it out together. And I like to share how it sort of originated. Yeah. Because this started on our first anniversary. Really? Yes. Wow. Girl. So over 10, yeah. well, nine years ago, right? Sure. Yeah. So we were on a cruise and I wanted to do something special. Mm -hmm. I wanted it to be sweet, but I wanted it to be memorable. Right. I wanted it to be reflective. Yeah. And that's when I came up with the love journal. Really sort of kind of on the spot. Okay. Had a notebook well. and started writing together. And then each year we've done it. So I have this little red flimsy like middle school notebook <laughs> that is filled of precious, precious memories. Mm. And that's like our love journal. Yeah. And I felt God was prompting me to make it more official. He was nice. like, Alice, you know, share this with other people. But the love journal itself is it has three sections. Okay. It has affirmations meditations and memories hmm. and so as a couple we go through each um it starts with memories which is probably our favorite part right you just list everything mm. that may have happened yeah. so it could be simple stuff like we potty trained our two-year-old <laughs> Fingers crossed, Look. baby Noah, right. can you please use the toilet, okay? That would be helpful. That would be. It makes life easy, okay? So, so we have memories. Meditations, that's like lessons learned. Got it. So each of us will take a time, take a moment to write down, what have I learned mm. in life? Mm -hmm. What have I learned as it relates to the relationship? That's it good. could be simple. It can be deep. Yeah. It could be, you know, oh, I learned he does not like to talk to me unless he's eaten his dessert, okay? <laughs> Look. Okay. Priorities. 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 <laughs> or it could be something a little bit deeper. You know, yeah. God is teaching me fill in the blank. That's good. So you write that down. And then my favorite is probably affirmations. Yeah. Because it's like a love letter. Nice. Oh. You write a love letter to your spouse. I like to say that you should write it and then you read it to them. Oh. And so that would be an entry. Y'all trying to get people in love, love. I'm trying to get love. you in love, <laughs> love. I want I a healthy, that, happy marriage. I love that. So that and then we also have activities in it. Hey, hey, we're so, all about doing a little all bit about activities. the activities. The activities once again are to promote communication right, and right. promote intimacy. Yeah. So we have activities which range from silly stuff to vision casting. So yeah. you pick, you know, yeah. holidays, special moments, whenever you fill out an entry. Nice. And then before you know it, you have like your love life chronicled. That's so lessons cool. Lessons learned, memories. You have all of that, that in so there. That's so cool. And I like to say that it's also a keepsake journal. Aww. Well, if people want to get their hands on the official mm. love journal, how can they find it? When can they yeah. find it? When will it be available for people? I love it. So you can go to my website. Always stay connected. Dot or right, you gotta use the ring <laughs> finger. I always use this one. I'm like, Alex, no, use the ring finger. Yes. All right. So always stay connected. Dot org. And while you're there, I'd also encourage you to sign up for your free couples activity, which I have. Mm -hmm. I'm of fun. <laughs> so do your free couples activity. But the journal, I am hoping, will 
be available this <laughs> month. Oh, that would be like, perfect. Like, it is done. So I'm hoping December 2021 it'll be available. I'm so excited. It's just such a great thing to accomplish. So I'm very yeah, excited thank for you. you. I'm very proud thank of you. you. And I know that it's going to be not only amazing, but I really do think it is going to help people yeah. and just allow them to kind of dig a little deeper in their relationships. We've gotten all the love mm -hmm. and marriage things, but now I'm going to have a little bit of fun with oh, my Oh, boy. Because, you know, if I have a guest, we got to have oh, a little boy. this or that. You know what I'm saying? Boy. I got to find out what mm. she's thinking about some things. Mm. So you all continue to stay tuned. We're going to play a fun, quick game. And then after that, we will be back with the Faith Fact. All right. <laughs> So I told you all that we are going to play a fun game. Okay. So we are going to do this and that. I feel like I shouldn't look at you. <laughs> Why am I like trying to cheat? <laughs> We're going to do, do this cheat. and that. Only she does. on games. She does. On Only games. in games. In games. That's it. Alice is the worst place it's person it. to play a game with. That is for sure. It's because I have a little bit of like... Napoleon syndrome? <laughs> when I was younger but that now so now funny. I am a little bit well this one I don't even know if you can like really win okay because it's this or that so I'm sure I it's can more win. your opinion but it'll be interesting I'll win you all au you automatically win. I'll win. okay, <laughs> okay. I'm ready. so this is a mix of relational things okay. but also like some of the quirky petty things in okay. like relationships and marriage specifically that sometimes can be more of an issue than people sure. would think so number one okay. this or that we are talking about I have props people oh gosh Talking about toothpaste. 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 So are you the cap on toothpaste pulled all the way up person? Or are you the cap off toothpaste smashed halfway in between just wherever you get to it? Which one are you? I'm, I'm, I'm going to have the... You guys don't judge me. I feel like people are going to judge me. Okay? I am the smasher, but I like the cap on. <laughs> Caps on, <laughs> but I push wherever oh, my little heart desires. So, we have is, two separate toothpaste. We do too, so that that eliminates that yep. issue. I agree. I do what I, I want. With I mine. agree. That is, do what you'd like to do with your mm -hmm. own toothpaste. Okay, date night. Which okay. I think I know the answer to this, but okay. just based on something you shared, All right. we'll see. Are you more of a cozy Netflix and chill or fun romantic outing? Oh, that's hard. I don't know. I'm both. I like them both. I love, I love, so maybe that's what I am. I love a good cozy Netflix and chill with some snacks. Yes. As long as I have snacks and a blanket, I'm happy. But I do love getting dressed up. Okay. I love a great restaurant, and I told you I love hotels. Yeah. You take yeah. me to a good restaurant mm -hmm. and a nice hotel? Yes. So Alice is gonna choose all, but right, we're, we're gonna, all we're gonna maybe cozy Netflix and chill. All but I feel above. like at any point, all mm -hmm. of these could be it. Mm -hmm. Another thing that people kind of have a debate about in relationships uh -huh. is toilet tissue. So are you the toilet tissue facing out person uh -huh. or the toilet tissue coming under person? So. First, I don't care. <laughs> Either one is fine with me. As long as, as myself, yourself. it's different. Right. But it, I do like, I like that one. Oh, oh you like that yes, too? Yes, yes. I feel are. like most people like the over. Oh, no, we are. On the, well, okay, so this is it. Pull it out again. I'll show you what, what so I So like. I like the, why, well, don't, don't judge us. We're debating. No. Okay. So in the house, I like it this way because I can see it. But when I go to a public place, then I like Why? it that way because they always put it so I don't have a choice. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll take it that way. Because I feel like it gets hidden sometimes when it's that way. When it's this way, like, yeah. you can always find it. Yeah, and at night it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks. So officially she has said that my way is better and that's okay. I'm going to go ahead like, and take that. Okay. So this is more relational. Okay. In a disagreement, Ooh. are you a let's talk about it now person or a hold up, I need a minute person? I need a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't need a minute to cool off. I need a minute to think. Got it. Got it. Because got it. when I, when we're in a disagreement, mm -hmm. and if I have to speak right then, you're mm -hmm. going to get a lot of babble. Got I've it. learned that over the years. I just babble. And then eventually I get to my point, and my got husband's it. like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? So I just need to think about it, understand what my issue is. Got it. Then we can converse. Yeah. That's last one. Oh, darn. Just it's the last one piece one? Okay. of both of your favorite dessert in the fridge. Ooh, interesting. Is it a, oh, he can have it, 
or you snooze, you lose, bruh. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Anyone who knows me knows I'm it. serious about my that food. That is so funny. No way. <laughs> Whoever gets it first. And I hide food. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed of that. I hide food. I'm not oh telling you gosh. where because he's probably going to watch this, but I hide food that is and I'm so not ashamed funny. of it. Try to get it. Oh, that is so funny. Yeah. Well, thank you, Alice, for playing our This and That thank game. You. It was very was fun. entertaining. I, I had to pull out the props, but it was Yes. Fun. <laughs> Toilet tissue. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> oh, boy, it's getting real. Right. It's getting oh, super it's real. real. Okay. Toilet tissue and toothpaste is getting really it. real. All right. So you all stick around. I've got the faith back coming up for this week, and I think it's going to be a simple but a good one. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, so we've had a great conversation with yes. my dear friend Alice here, and what is this week's faith fact? Ooh. This week's faith fact is consistently make the effort to stay connected so you avoid being disconnected. I yes, love it. yes. And I do think that what happens from day to day, and we talked about this a little bit, is yeah. just as you go through life and you know you get over the engagement high and the wedding high and you get to the real life where you're going to work and people have different schedules yeah. and you have different activities, it really is an effort. You have to make an effort consistently to stay connected or you kind of just end up being two people in a home just kind of managing and getting through it. Um, and I know for me personally, that is something that me and Thad are really, really trying to make sure that we're consistent in doing and also connecting with other people too that can encourage our journey well that is it for this week's episode alice let them know again how they can get in contact with you okay. on social media on your website if they want to kind I of love it. either have your services or get your book so i would love to connect with all of you feel free to follow me on instagram at the official love journal mm -hmm. you can join the group on facebook and that's called the love journal yes and the website is always stay connected yes. org Yes. So yes, yes. feel free to go there and sign up and I'll keep you posted on upcoming events. We've got mm. big things, hopefully Yay. in 2022. Awesome. And get your free activity. Absolutely. Well, Alice, thank you for being my thank guest. You, Shani. I'm this so glad awesome. you're able to come on. It was so much fun. And I really, really believe that you bless people with the Yay. information that you share. Well, that is yeah. it because I know that you all have been watching and gleaning all of this and I'm not going to keep you too much longer, but I hope that you all enjoy your yeah. weekend ahead, that you have fun, whatever you do mm -hmm. and you all know the motto always keep the faith and let the lord fight your battles until next time i love y'all peace love and marriage love and marriage go together like a horse and carriage something like that i don't yeah. remember all the songs i just mm -hmm. my dad used to watch what that a weird show. show. I it, like was, it was a weird show. It was not it, it the depiction like of love and marriage that yeah. we needed. Absolutely not. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I thought it was weird. <laughs>